Hey there, thank you for joining me for another fun Friday. Um, I started doing these just as a way to get our minds onto something a bit more lighthearted to let us have a little bit more fun instead of getting bogged down in um, all the serious stuff that's going on with the coronavirus. Um, not to say that there isn't anything to be taken seriously with what's going on, but um, if all we're doing is getting extremely serious about this, I figured um, it's going to wear on us a lot faster. So uh, why don't we try to come up with something a bit more lighthearted to, to help us take a bit of that edge off. Um, today it is rainy. It snowed a bit earlier. It's not going to be a nice day for most of the day, um, which means that a lot of us are going to just be sitting around inside. Um, it's a colder day. It's been a pretty cold spring so far. We've had a few days where the weather is uh, broken and it seems like we might get some nice warmer weather, but for the most part, um, things have stayed fairly cold. Uh, so I figured uh, I would talk to you about uh, coffee and tea. Um, and normally you don't see those two thrown together. You kind of have coffee drinkers and tea drinkers, uh, but I really enjoy both of them. I've been drinking a lot more tea lately than coffee. Uh, it's just, I'll start to drink a bit of coffee and I'll normally get through about one cup of coffee. Um, it's Coffee is a lot stronger than tea, so um, I normally like sweeter drinks, but I don't like weak coffee, so I'm kind of in a, in a point right now where I'm drinking more tea, but um, just to have a, a nice, warm, caffeinated beverage to drink. Um, I, I really love it. Um, I uh, personally, my favorite uh, type of tea is Irish breakfast tea. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's a nice, much stronger tea, um, but it's really good. Uh, of course, English breakfast tea is really good. Um, but man, coffee is really good too. And, and there are a ton of ways to brew coffee. And, you know, what you're going to do is just pop a, a pot into a Keurig or, um, you know, pour in some grounds into your coffee maker. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I know that there are people who would disagree with me saying that, but there is nothing wrong with you running a Keurig or uh, going with uh, just a regular coffee maker but I have gone toward pour over coffee more uh, to give me something to do uh, when I'm first waking up instead of just staring at my phone. Um, being able to do pour over coffee uh, gives me a way to slowly wake myself up. You will smell the coffee a lot more. It is a much slower process. It helps you uh, kind of move into your day. Obviously, if you require your coffee right away to wake up, then a pre-programmable -pre coffee pot or curing will probably work a little better, but um, it's really nice to be able to have a, 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 a little water kettle to pour it into. It marks the temperature, so I know exactly what temperature the water is at to make the best coffee. Um, I have a uh, Hario V60 pour over um, coffee kit um, and a reusable uh, metal filter for that. And um, it works so well. I'm super, I love being able to do it. Um, just being able to have that little bit of time to take care of it. Now, I have friends who they, they roast their own coffee beans. So they're not buying their beans from the store, they're buying them. In bulk and they take the time to roast them and get them ready so that you can make your coffee. Um, I have friends who are uh, much more intentional about the way that they make their coffee and I like to take that little bit of time in the morning uh, to wake up and to make my coffee but not to the point where it's all that carefully controlled of a moment. I mean if, if I were to to brew, you know, to be trying to make three or four cups of coffee. Um, I'm not using my pour over to do that. I am going over, uh, we have a Krups coffee maker and I'm going over to that thing and I'm going to make my coffee over there. Um, 
but when it when it gets really cold like this, um, sometimes there isn't much better than getting a cup, nice cup of hot tea, getting a nice cup of hot coffee, uh, settling in to relax. Maybe you're going to read a book. Maybe you're going to do a little craft. Um, maybe you're going to watch a movie. Or, uh, but man. Uh, coffee and tea, they are, they are lifesavers, and I um, can tie a whole bunch of really fun memories to drinking coffee, drinking tea. I remember uh, sitting in an honors, co honors college class, and we transcribed wills, and um, it was with a professor who uh, had gone to school at Oxford, and she um, had worked um, as like a curator at a manor house, and um, so she was like really steeped in British tradition. And so she brought uh, PG Tibbs tea, which is true British tea. And we ate digestives, which are these kind of cookies. They have chocolate coating on the bottom. Um, and we, we would sit in that class and we would drink tea as we were working on transcribing these wills. Um, it was part of her, in, her research. And that was one of the things that we did in the Honors College was uh, we would take a couple classes working alongside of professors in their research. Um, it was a wonderful class. I really loved it. Um, getting to meet with people for coffee. I love to meet over coffee. And um, a lot of times I'll get um, a mocha or a cafe miel, which has kind of some honey in it. Um, I, uh, I love coffee. I love the time that I get to spend with drinking coffee and I hope that you can have some fun over the weekend, and uh, you know if you're if you're lucky, I think it's going to either involve a, a good cup of tea, or um, more likely for most of you listening to this, it's probably going to involve a, a nice hot cup of coffee. Uh, so hope you guys have some fun. That was our fun Friday. It's not as fun and exciting. It's not as exciting maybe as a lot of Fridays, but I don't think today is quite as exciting of a day uh, with the weather. So I figured, you know. Get, get warm, enjoy some nice coffee. Um, if you want a tip on a brand, I will say Caribou Coffee. I love it. It is wonderful. You can get it in most stores nowadays. So um, do check out Caribou Coffee. I would really encourage you to do that. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I just like their coffee a lot. So um, have a good Friday. Have some fun. God bless you guys. Goodbye.